Well, hello everybody. This is Kathy Grosskirk with Bookkeeping Clean and Simple here in Austell, Georgia near Metro Atlanta. And today we're going to talk about organizing your chart of accounts in QuickBooks Online without enabling the account numbers. And as you can see, I'm in Craig's Design and Landscaping Services. This is the test drive file or the sample file. I am in the incognito setting of Chrome, which is the recommended browser. And what I want to do is I want to go ahead and drag and drop this accounting tab and it should automatically open up in the chart of accounts section. And if it doesn't, then I can click on the tab to do that. Now, the ordinary scenario would be that you would want to turn on account numbers if you want to use account numbers. The problem with doing that, if you just have one or two accounts that you want to reorganize, is that when you turn those on, you have to list the account numbers. You have to enter them by batch, which is not a problem. But if you only got one or two chart of account items that you want to reorganize, then this may be a better solution for you. So in particular, what I want to do is I want to uh, look at this truck area. As you can see, the truck account has two sub accounts. And usually depreciation comes after the original cost. Well, all I want to do is I want to make sure that that depreciation line item comes underneath the original cost. And it's real simple to do that with this trick that I'm getting ready to show you. Before I do that, I want to show you that there's this little pencil icon, which is called a batch edit. And what that'll do is allow you to rename your accounts without having to go in and open all that mess up. So you can do several of these at once if you wanted to. All I'm going to do is I'm going to come down to this truck area, and as you can see, those two sub accounts. All I'm going to do is I'm going to put an asterisk in front of the original cost. And what that's going to do is when I save that, is it's going to move that to the position above the depreciation. So when you run your reports, you're going to see the asterisk there, which is not really a big, big deal if all you're talking about is just making sure it's in what we call the correct order on the reports when you run the reports but that's just a simple way that you can organize and reorganize just a few items without having to turn on account numbers hopefully this will help you today and you can probably see other places within the chart of accounts where you can apply this simple principle thank you for watching i would love it if you would like and subscribe to my channel as well as share it with others I am adding on average one video per week, including the occasional motivational video. I would love nothing more than to help you maximize your usage of QuickBooks desktop and online. My email is below as well as the number where you can text me for more information and to set up an initial consult. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.